U.S. comprises of used electrical and electronic equipment, which are circuitry or electrical components and a power or battery supply. They fall under different categories from cooling or freezing equipment to screens, monitors, lamps and large equipment such as washing machines, small IT and telecommunications equipment such as mobile phones also fall in a different category. Each of these categories has an adverse environmental and health impact if disposed of improperly. Uh, just dispose everything. We meet David Butitua, the CEO for Center for ICT Integration at Baptist Girls High School in Bungoma Town. Yeah. David says they decided to focus on schools' trainings to make them aware of the dangers of electronic waste, especially from CRT monitors, which are still used by most schools. We decided to focus uh, to schools so that we can make them aware the dangers of electronic waste. He calls for the adoption of green IT through the use of cloud platforms that will greatly reduce the damping of electronic waste in the environment which emit hazardous chemicals. We want schools to adopt the issues of cloud, cloud systems. CRT monitors has a lot of lead. This person who, who works in, under, in, in, in just in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an electronic workshop will just go into and be able now to the device and pick the component maybe they need. And ask yourself, where is this person taking the other components? The plastics, the glass, which has a, the, the front panel glass and the back panel, we find that they have a lot of lead. Amos Kiptum is the computer studies teacher at Baptist Girls. He is one of the teachers who went through this program and says the training has been beneficial for the institution. Lack of that information that this can harm the environment and it can harm the people. Lack of that information has uh, previously caused us to uh, maybe dispose them irresponsibly. But now after the training and after the program and understanding that these are hazardous components, we've now been able to dispose them in the right way. Teach us to be ambassadors also of, of educating the, other, the communities on issues of e-waste. In the neighboring school, Namachanja High School, we meet Madam Emily Waswa going through her training. According to Emily, the school ran out of space due to backlog of electronic waste. At one time, they disposed a lorry full of computers. Initially, I had, known, I had not known how to dispose some components that have been, are not in use. The electronic components that are not in use, but through the same program, I've, I've now known how to dispose and where to take them. Many Kenyans dispose of their old electronic gadgets from earphones, iron boxes, microwaves or fridges in the nearby dustbins or rivers, but the dangers are diverse. <laughs> this is an electronic shop in Bungoma town, but now it's turned into a dam site. <laughs> You found that most of the electronics, they have lead, they have phosphorus, they have carbon, and uh, these are some of the uh, elements that uh, when they are not well managed, they can cause cancer. But where can you dispose your waste? Tungeomba account yetu ya bungoma wa kutengeleze maali penye tunaweza kuwa tunasanya hiyo vitu tukitupa. If these items find their way in our seas and land, it plays a major role in global warming. And today, during the World US Day, Kenyans are being urged to manage these words properly. John Makuba, K24, Bungoma County.